This is Rust Admin Academy. My name is Rob. Here we discuss anything and everything that has to do with owning and operating a Rust server. Today, we're dealing with Oxide permissions, which is a complete mystery to a lot of different people. So let's see if we can't break down some of these mysteries and make you understand how to deal with your permissions on your server. If this is your first time at the channel, welcome. I hope you enjoy what you see. If you do like this video, be sure to throw me a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot. And if you want to see future content just like this, make sure you subscribe and turn on notification bells. Okay, so one of the most complicated aspects of owning and operating your server is permissions. Now, a lot of you may not even know what permissions are, and it's just that. It's it's allowing a player to do something specific. So in each plugin that you come across on UMOD or Chaos Code or uh, a custom builder, um, most plugins are going to have permissions associated to it. So if there's a group of people that you want to be able to do something and a different group that you don't want to be able to do that same thing, then that's all done by permissions. Okay. Dealing with the astronomical list of permissions that you may or may not have on your server, because it's based on how many plugins you have, can be a very daunting task. But we're gonna discuss two different tools that I use that makes that process super easy. One of them is free, available from umod.org, and the other one is paid for, and that's from Chaos Code. Both of them are very good, but they do very different things, and we'll get into each one. We're gonna start with the free one from umod. Okay, so here we are on the UMOD website and we are at Permissions Manager. I'll post a link down below uh, so that you can get directly to this plugin. Okay, so a couple of things that we need to notice right off the bat before we download and install this plugin is this line right here. So you can actually grant this permission to other people uh, or other groups if you needed to, um, but anybody on your server that has auth level two will automatically be able to use this plugin. Nobody else will, unless you grant them the permission to be able to do that. Let's get this downloaded. Let's grab it out of our downloads folder and we're gonna take it over to our oxide folder and we're gonna dump it in there. And there we go, loaded the plugin permissions manager 0.1.1. Okay, so that's all good to go. So let's head over to gameplay and see what it looks like in game. Okay, so in game, we've got two simple chat commands. So it is uh, slash perms player or slash perms group. So depending on what you are trying to accomplish, are you trying to grant a single permission to an individual player or are you trying to grant an individual permission to a group of players, okay? And if you've watched my tutorial on the plugin called Better Chat, it shows you how to set up different groups, such as VIPs, such as moderators, et cetera, et cetera, depending on what you want to have set up. Okay, so let's do uh, let's do perms player, and we'll just do bull. Oh, because that's not me. Let's do perms player. Christy. So once that pulls up, it shows you all of the different uh, available plugins that you can use, that you can grant permissions for, and we can vanish, for example. So as you can see from previous tutorials that we've done, I have granted myself the ability to use this plugin. And because these are all in the revoked position over here, uh, this means that I'm able to teleport, I'm able to have my weapon out, I'm able to damage animals, I'm able to damage buildings. You get the point that I'm trying to make. Uh, so let's go to, uh, what's another one that we can check? Stack size controller. So uh, stack size controller, I have this permission revoked from myself. If I wanted to make it so that I wanted myself or a player or a group of players to be able to change the stack sizes in game using the command from stack size controller i would click on the granted button there and that would then grant that group or that player the permission can change stack size okay obviously that's not one that you want 
regular players or even admins to be able to do because once you've set it up, you don't want it to be changed. And of course, the more plugins that you have on your server, uh, this list can be very extensive. There can actually be multiple pages of uh, different plugins that you might have on your server. And then once you go into each individual one, it shows you the list of available permissions that you can grant or revoke from players or groups. So that's the permissions manager, the free version from umod.org. And like I said, I'll leave a link in the description down below so that you guys can get to it really, really quickly. So the other one that I wanted to show you guys is called admin menu and it's from chaos code. I will also put a link to this one down below. This one does cost money. I want to say that it costs about $15 us. Like I said, I use this on my own servers uh, and I use it quite often too. So uh, it is a, it's a good plugin to have. Is it worth it for the $15? I'm not sure that's up to you. So let's download this. There's our admin menu. We're gonna drop it in our folder there. We're gonna wait for it to generate like we always do. Okay, now uh, something that I needed to show you before we went there. So this plugin, actually, you actually have to grant the permissions before you can use the plugin. Um, so in this case, or in most cases, you would just grant these different permissions to the group called admin. Or if you only have one admin, such as yourself, you could just grant those permissions to yourself instead of to a group. Okay, so we're gonna go through the process of granting my group called admin these four different permissions, and I'll show you why. In our server, we're gonna do oxide.grant group admin. And I find it's easier to just copy pasta them. So oxide.grant group admin admin menu.use and oxide grant group admin admin menu permissions which is what we want to be using in this plugin. And this allows us to control the different groups so we can create and delete groups using this plugin as well. You're going to see that. I'll show you everything uh, once we get into back into game. And then oxide.grant group admin admin menu dot give. Okay, so now we've granted the group admin all four of these permissions, and now we can go in game and I can show you how these things actually work. So just a real quick breakdown on what each one of these permissions does for you. Uh, this line right here, admin, admin menu.use, allows you to use the plugin as a whole. When you type slash admin in game, if you didn't have this permission, it would say you don't have the permission to do that. Uh, the next one down allows you to deal with the permissions in the game from the plugin. The next one down allows you to deal with the groups, adding, uh, deleting groups, changing group names, et cetera, et cetera. The bottom one here, admin menu.give, allows you to give items to players just from inside this plugin. So that's just a real quick breakdown of what each individual permission does. And you can think of who you might want on your team to have these different abilities. Think about that. So once we're in game, we can just type slash admin, and that brings up this menu right here, this GUI. So as you can see, the permissions tab at the very top in the middle here, uh, that is one of the permissions that we granted our group called admin to be able to use this section. If you didn't grant yourself that, you wouldn't even see this box right here. Same thing goes for give items as well as groups. So while we're in here, I might as well show you, let's go to groups first. So in a previous video, and I'll post a link to it uh, right now, uh, shows you how to like, that you have a default group and you can create an admin group. So this is just showing you uh, what groups you have currently on your server. And if you want to create another group, you can do that. Let's just, uh, let's just create a group here real quick, just so that you can see uh, what it looks like. So now we've created a group called VIP. Now let's go into the permissions section and we want to control group permissions. Okay, so let's do, um, let's do the admin group. Uh, you're gonna see a lot of these are green because we've already 
we've already granted a lot of these permissions but this is what it would look like if you wanted to grant a, a permission to a group and all you got to do is click on it it turns green now that group has that permission if you want to revoke that permission just click on it again and it takes that permission away and the more plugins you have on your server again same thing as in the other plugin that i was showing you this screen would be full of different permissions that you can grant or revoke from players or groups if you just wanted to be working with a specific player you can do player permissions right here and I'm the only one in here, so I, that's the only one that I can show you. But if you wanted to just grant a specific player a certain permission, you can do that here. So it just makes it super easy um, and, and definitely faster than doing it through your game console uh, where you have to type oxide.grant user name permission. It's uh, just a super easy way of managing your permissions. And if you if somebody tells you, hey, I don't have the ability to do B grade or something like that or um, whatever, pick a specific plugin um, that somebody's asking you about. Then you can quickly jump in, type slash admin and quickly see what permissions that player has or doesn't have and then quickly correct it or whatever you need to do. So just to finish up with admin menu from chaos code, I just wanted to show you guys a couple of other things that you can do with it. So we talked about the give items permission, and this is what that menu looks like right here. And it's broken down quite uh, effectively. Um, so you just pick like how many of whatever item you want to give and then which player you want to give that to. And as you can see, I just gave myself a thousand four times scopes whatever uh, so that's the give uh, console commands uh, you can you can actually change these in the uh, config file that gets a little bit uh, advanced you can't actually add commands in here like let's say it's stuff that you do on a regular basis you can put those commands in here and it just makes it a little bit easier and quicker to get to uh, chat commands if you want to TP yourself to a specific player click on use and if you had more players in the game right now uh, This would show a list of players right now It's just showing me because I'm the only one in here and then offline players same thing if you wanted to teleport yourself to a specific player you could uh, a specific offline player you could do that here you can use that for like tracking down cheaters or suspects or whatever right like it just makes it so that you don't have to search around the map trying to find where this person is sleeping uh, toggle God mode. Uh, you can't just do that. Um, you actually have to have a plugin. I think it's called, actually, I forget what it's called, but there's a separate plugin that allows players to be able to use God mode. Uh, as you can see, we don't have it on this server. So it says unknown command. And what else can I show you? Oh, if you want to uh, teleport a specific player to zero, 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 which you never want to do because that's always going to put them underneath the map. Uh, but I guess technically you could do it or if you want to do player to player uh, ie you have a friend that's looking for another friend and you want to be able to teleport friend one to friend two You can do that here. You just select that person and then the person that they want to be teleported to and uh, it's Super easy. So that's the basics of admin menu again. Like I said before, it's a very powerful plugin I use it all the time. Let's say it is $15. I think it's worth it um, but again, that's totally up to you. You don't have to use this. You can use permissions manager from UMod. Uh, it's free as far as permissions go, as it gives you the same capabilities, just in a little bit of a different format. So that in a nutshell is permissions and the two different plugins I use to maintain who has what permission and what group has what permission. So if this helped you out at all, like always, please give me a thumbs up. And remember, I do these videos for you guys so that you don't have to make the same mistakes that I made or go through the same challenges that I went through learning all of this stuff because I have spent years doing this. If you want to continue seeing these types of videos, make sure you subscribe and turn on notification bells because we all know that subscriptions don't really mean anything anymore. But I want you guys to be notified when I put out a new video so that I can help you progress further and get better and better and better at owning and operating your Rust server, and I wish you all the best success, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.